Hey YouTube fans and RVers, just wanted to show you this rig that just happened to show up here today at the same RV park that I'm at. It looks kind of familiar to me, not really sure who this is. I think one of my YouTube subscribers and one of the people that I'm subscribed to has a demon intruder, but who could it be? Who could it be? It's Rufus! <laughs> And Doofus. Hey, Chico. Hey, how you doing, Patrick? Good to see you, man. Nice to see you. Welcome to Alabama, buddy. Oh, man. Thank you for welcoming me. I'm loving it. And here's our buddy. That's Rufus, all excited. Rufus. Yeah, he's all excited. This is a great rig, man. I so love this thing. It's a mess right now. It is a mess, Chico. But you know what? I know traveling, it gets really tough. But, uh, I'm just not, what? I'm not settled in. Well, man, you brought a lot of stuff. Yes, I did. And I'm going to get rid of a lot of stuff. If anybody wants stuff, just email me. Pay for the post is yours. That's right. All right, we'll be back. I got myself a lodge griddle plate here flat on one side griddle on the other or grill marker on yeah. the other you know these things are expensive they're yeah. like 30 bucks they're right? heavy so here's what i'm thinking i'm thinking that we can cook some really good burgers breakfast eggs all kinds of stuff on that so tonight we're going to attempt a pork burger that we got at win dixie hey two for two, one two for one. Oh, you were there that's right so i think that these things are designed so that the wind doesn't affect them too much. So let's find out. Shoot. <laughs> this is just a cheap I'm going to step back here. Coleman burner. Yeah, that's a safe place to be someplace far. Ooh, what do you know that lit? Wow. Look at that. So far, so good. Are now. They, are they lit? Yeah. If this thing gets red hot, we're, uh, we're cooking. Yep. And it's not going out. You notice that? No. So we got this cooking here. I can hear it. Can you hear it? Don't I can hear the it. the lens there. That's hot over there. I can hear it. We're playing with fire here there, partner. It's Chico's Chico's in town now. We're playing with fire. A little see, lemon. Yeah, we're going to do some pork burgers. We're going to do a little lemon pepper. Yum. Right? Uh, maybe a little garlic salt, yeah. you think? Okay. And you can't have barbecue sauce, right? I don't have any anyway. So, but we're going to play it by ear. Can you have a bun? Nope. No bun. All right, so he's having no bunners. I'm, I'm low carb. Bunner. Low carb. Low carb. I'm uh, going to cheat. Ah, so it's still low it. carb. So this is my first attempt after I have left home, okay, after I've run away from the from the system. <laughs> here he is. And here I am with my cooking utensil. This is hopefully going to take the place of a big gas grill here, buddy. Wouldn't that be nice? I mean, you know, yeah, it's not going to do like like a gas grill would, but this no. is, I think, going to be great for steaks and burgers. Yeah. Is it getting hot? Actually, it is. It's getting hot. All right. We'll come back. All right. Quite frankly, you bought brought everything but the kitchen sink with you. I, I, I have a kitchen sink. Yeah. I don't have a spare one, now, but I have one. If you had a spare one, you would have brought that with yeah, you. Yeah, I would have. I do have a shop bag. Oh my God. You got to <laughs> you got folks. You got to see this place. He's got everything in his mother in there. Yeah, but we're gonna get rid of stuff. We're gonna downsize. Yeah. We got to get down. Thank God I didn't downsize before I left. I'd mm -hmm. still be there. So the rig ran well. Absolutely well. Wonderfully well wonderfully well and I might have some surprises on gas mileage I, I, I think what may have happened is that when I filled up leaving Vero Beach I actually got a nice full tank yeah oh no you're good um, when I stopped for the first fill up on the road I think what may have happened is I fooled myself and maybe put uh, less than a full tank in for mm -hmm. whatever it, it, the pump kept shutting off like it was full right and i calculated eight and a half miles to the gallon good but on my next fill up a lot more fuel went in than i thought was going to go in oh. but the road had shifted a lot yeah was i was hillier. hitting a lot of hills and stuff mm -hmm. so my gas mileage dropped to six and a half going so, through tallahassee and pensacola yeah, it's hilly. so you know i went from eight and a half to six and a half which is still good i mean if i'm getting six and a half compared to what i was getting before or after Ulf had his hands in there, the rig is doing really well. So I am thinking that I uh, the numbers were real. I'm thinking that I got eight and a half for the first too. part of the trip, and then it dropped to six and a half yeah. when I was coming up the hills. So folks are gonna you're gonna see this when he puts his video up. And if you haven't subscribed to Rufus and Doofus, please do. 
if you're if you're a native of my channel definitely head on over there now some of you came over from Rufus and Dupus when he did a shout out to me you know a while back but I think what's gonna come out in the video is how incredible Chico did he actually drove all the way from Vero Beach to about 600 miles to Lower Alabama 600 miles in, in about 12 hours yep yep so, I think so all right Chico so we're gonna go ahead and do some cooking and uh, I'm sure you and I will do some videos together later on you got it all right buddy welcome good to have you see you in a little bit okay